You know what it is, though. Can I finish my? Uh, will y'all oh, get please, please do. To finish my. It's almost your bedtime. We know how you do. Yes, I, I, I just want to clarify something. But go ahead, Mike, if you want to add on to the movie. Just, just not, just really quick. Um, y'all know a lot of well-off people, I'm sure. So y'all know a lot of swingers and people in that type of sure lifestyle. Y'all met them, right? Sure. Have y'all ever picked up on this? It's always one person pretending to be down. Like the other person, yeah. It's, the it, is, other person. It's, it is one person trying, it's never two people. Because think about it two free spirited people won't last with each other, they're two free, they're free spirits. So it's like one of y'all are faking, yeah. And, and you what you're doing is fine. trying to be cool. You love that person so much, you're trying to be cool, you're trying to be down. And why would you ever lie to this person? Because what they love it, they love the freedom of being with you, but the autonomy to be with anybody else. And that other person is always faking it. And that's kind of where he, when she started to have a problem, if it was her, if that's what happened, he like, what? Well, of course he's going to say, well, what's the issue now? And my ultimate point is that none of this stuff actually belongs in the institution of marriage. I agree. None so, of it. Did anybody else have anything to add? If I wanted to just clarify something real fast. Go ahead, go ahead, I finish this, your story, Shane. I, I, I want this to be first and foremost. When I get on men and I say stuff about the income, y'all, I'm an educator, right? I believe that we could be doing so much more. Why do we got to be at the bottom of everything? I think that we're the most talented people out here. We're the strongest, smartest. And I just feel like we don't be living up to, we, we, we so intrigued by who's sex and who. That same energy we could be putting in ourselves and be some great individuals. I'm on Shane and K. So, Williams. And so what I'm saying, whenever I bring stuff up like that, it's always as a challenge. Just like I bring it up, y'all bring up single moms, and I'd be like, yep, that was me. Go for it. All you know, that's that's all I be saying. I ain't never knocking nobody for their income. I'm just saying I know you can do better. I see better in you, and I want you to do better. Don't let that man take your job. You better than him. That's all I be saying. So I don't understand. You know why they rebel, Shan? Why? We, I, I said this on like Lucky Somebody Show. I was like, all of us on these podcasters, we we have a terrible tra trait, terrible characteristic. We are expert problem identifiers. Facts. But really bad, at least on this, these platforms, we're really bad problem solvers. Don't Most of y'all are like old enough to have worked in like management, upper management, all that type of stuff. You know damn well you can't really solve a problem till you identify you, you identify it first, then you solve it, then the problem is solved. So what we do is we identify problems. This is the problem. And single mothers did this, and the government did this. We identify problems all day. Nobody institutes the steps on how to make the change no, so even no, when we say I, I this is what needs to happen wants to hear the solution I, I exactly think, exactly that yeah, might be that, something too yeah, but that, um, so, so the piggyback what i'm saying so if i bring up that people are making average the bigger problem is your kids are being raised without you in a household it's more than that that money that you're making in my opinion that is to me is not an excuse now if you want to go into the logistics of it all oh because of this this we need change law okay let us do that because at the end of the day our kids are suffering and we keep bringing in these generations and generations and the same stuff goes on just it's gonna keep on repeating itself until somebody stand up and, and get it right so if, you, if the money is the issue okay so I'm going to knock the money. I'm like, it ain't enough to be an issue of your kids. That money that you make, that average money you make should never be more than your kids. These are your kids. This is this is generation. When you leave, that money you make ain't going to be here. But your kids will. What are you leaving behind? That's your last name. But so no, what, what, what you, you trying to talk to the women, Chan? No, wait, yeah, because you're conflating two things. You just heard me say when men make babies with women, they don't leave. So you oh. need to be asking the women, why the hell are they leaving these men high and dry after they make these babies oh, with them? So, so what I said was, my my, my thing, what you mean leaving? You talking about when they just have babies? talking about marriage or outside of marriage? Either or. Men no, ain't leaving. Listen, let me just tell you in a little secret. Most women who have a kid like you want to be with you. I don't know if y'all know that or not. So why the hell are they leaving? She wanted, she, she not. He don't want to. That ain't true because most of them are there. Yeah, all these damn single parent homes. She got the baby on her hip. Decide that the, the other chick called her true. like yo. So, what, so why? So why? So why is she in the oh, house by oh, herself? So give him, give him some so, grace, Queenie. 
Sweeney, mm -hmm. Sweeney, let me ask you a question. Why do you think it's so bitter? Why do you think women get so bitter when he end up moving on with somebody else? You think it's just because? Or do you think it's because she even if that was the case, even if that was the case, if she gonna get so damn bitter about him getting somebody else, why the fuck did she leave in the first place? She did. You're not I, okay. Never mind. Who who walks? I, I could ask every I, woman I, on this panel. <laughs> whenever you broke up with somebody, who broke up with who? I, Shan, I, I, broke, I broke up with almost Shan, everybody except Marcus. one person. Shan, who, when you was in a relationship and your and your and everything broke down, who broke up with who? Hey, hey, hey there wasn't no damn boat. Um, it's it's always it one person that said. No, so so there were some said there were some things that took place, multiple things that took place. I, I wouldn't even put his business out there like that, but there were multiple things that took place. I listen. I try to be a loyal lover. I try. You know, but I, I already told y'all about the distance, but there were other things that, that took place that I'd rather not even speak about, which is not anybody. So you broke up with him? For, for good reason. <laughs> hey, in all your relationships, how many relationships did you have in your adulthood? We can't hear not you. Not many. Tia, we can't hear you. Less than that. None? You ain't had no relationships in your adulthood? You said me? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. What was the question? I said, how many relationships have you had in your adulthood? In my adulthood? What what age is my adulthood? 18, 18 or 9. Okay. Um, <laughs> was, okay. Um, I can count on... Ball parking. You ain't got to get too... Like, yeah, parking. I can count on two hands. Okay. How many of them was it that the person broke up with you? <laughs> um, if he chose somebody else, that's maybe one, two. What she could count on two hands at maybe one or two, Casey. Before you got married, when you had that's kind of reason though. Once you ask the general reasons, it doesn't matter the reason. It does. It doesn't. <laughs> Because the, the, the whole overarching point is is that no, you can't tell me that staying together and working it out. Right? So, we're just talking about staying together. So, so you can, so this is the thing. There, there are multiple reasons for people not getting, so at, when you're not married, it could be simple like, I've been sitting here waiting for you for five years and you're never going to ask me to marry. Like, and that you know that's a goal of mine. And it's obviously that you don't want to marry me. That could be a reason for a woman to leave because you're wasting my time, my young years, you know, <laughs> Fair enough, but do you do that before or after the baby? What you talking about? For you, is she if you, just, if, all right. So, say for instance, all right, I, I'll give you this. Say for instance, so you in a relationship. I want Let's to say, marry my my child's father. I want to marry. No, fair enough, fair enough. But if you have the baby, and he's only and, and there is no plans in sight of him marrying you, y'all. Mm -hmm. What basically what's in your future is y'all about to spend the next eighteen years together, no marriage. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna break up with that man? Probably not. Hey, so it, so if you if you're with a man for if you're with a man for X amount of years and they don't marry you, mm -hmm. does does the thought process that of what what am I not doing or what am I doing that's causing this man not to want to marry me? Sure. Are we never having discussions? You want to know, look, 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 know the reason why I said it doesn't matter the reason why, Marcus? Let me, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me hold, on, Shan, hold on, Shan. Let me get this out real quick. You want to know the reason why I said it doesn't matter? Yeah, I'm going to let her. I'm going to let her. The reason why I said it doesn't matter is because we know in relationships, the all the things that we do is bilateral. We do to one another. <laughs> Men still, even though women do to us, still tend to stay when shit is on the line, whether that's a baby or marriage. Men still tend to stay in the relationship, even if shit is happening to us, even if that means even if there's a lack of sex, even if there's a lack of this, even if there's a she's unhappy or even if she's belittling him or whatever, they do still tend to stay. Women still initiate relationship, uh, the end of relationships and divorces at a 70% clips. Sure. So with that being said, that's why I said the reason why it doesn't matter. 
All I'm asking is, how often do you initiate the breakup? So let me ask you a question. So, so you're right. It it does it does it it it, it, it does matter. Let me tell you why. Because even if you say a man steps out of his relationship, he doesn't leave his wife, but he got an out, right? He got something to take his mind off of his issue. She doesn't get that out. She can't cheat like him because it's not socially accepted, right? So where's her out? So so if he has- Most men don't cheat. So, Just like most women don't cheat. Cheating ain't the thing that most people do. His okay. out may be that he go into his man cave and beat his dick every day. So, so, so some men don't. <laughs> I would agree that some it men... He play video games now to get away from your ass. So, so Put your I, hand down, so Trigger Mike. I would agree that some, some you do every day. Don't, but I do know that there are men, it comes up quite often when men, you know, that, that there are some cheaters in the business, right? And women do as well. Women so, go, they have so, they out too. They cheat just as much as men do. Okay, so, if so not that's, more. that's part... But even if a woman is cheating, she don't feel right. If a, what if the a, fuck does that have to do with the person? What? Oh, that Lord. said even. Oh, oh, this, this, this is how they justify it to themselves, man. We're going down a rabbit hole. Listen, 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 right. listen, <laughs> we're going down a rabbit hole because people, we we don't know. You have to look at a case by case situation on why people leave relationships, right? It's just a case by case situation. It could be that he's left the relationship. He just ain't left the relationship, meaning he ain't doing nothing. And don't nobody want to be at home with no lazy man either. You know what I'm saying? Just like you don't want to be at home with a lazy woman. It's the same situation. Yeah, he's still there. Relationships, but but what I so 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 can I can I say hey, something? He's so, still there so, with that lazy ass woman so wait, in the house Sweeney, ain't cooking no wait, dinner. Wait, Sweeney. So wait, look, men team men men seem to on most cases. Mm -hmm. Think about the long term effects of things. Women do not. They do. Women are more. Women are more impulsive to right now. What is going on? The current situation. They can't see that. They don't necessarily, as a group, we don't necessarily look at the long game and the long term effects of our decisions, right? Sure. And and men are always looking towards the future. So I think that is one of the main reasons why women make impulsive decisions and leave relationships, whether it's in the heat of a really serious issue or it could be the heat of a situation where it actually could be worked out through therapy or, you know, recalibrating, recalibrating the relationship and like figuring out another way to, to operate within the relationship. I really feel that that's where those numbers come from within that. Sure. That's, women, women are more impulsive and they look at their current situation, their current circumstance and like, I'm a, I'm a, I gotta change it. I gotta change it. I gotta get out of it. I gotta do something different. That's why women are constantly going back to school, 30s, 40s. Like, they, we're not thinking about what, okay, how is this going to affect the family long term? How is this going to affect, do I really need to do this? Is this the best decision? It's kind of like, I need to do something right now. I need I need to change my circumstance right now. And it, we really don't sit in things where we really need to be more virtuous and pray and be silent and and really go back and forth over our decisions. As a whole, we're known to be more impulsive. That's true. I can you agree with that. Explain why daddies are important. And you said also, what? Now? You just explain why daddies are important. Oh, daddies are real important. Fact, I mean, fact, fact. really, really, what it is. And, and uh, remember, I said like we identify problems and we have to give the steps to uh, people who are trying to change themselves. So here's a step. I've noticed that the most, the wisest women I know. Because of what Casey just dropped bars. And what she did was she didn't self-deprecate. You you basically told the truth about yourself or about women in general. This is a character flaw that we have. Now, how do we fix it? The women who are the wisest adopt the logic of the men that they trust. That's it. You see what I'm saying? So if I know I'm prone to making bad decisions, <laughs> impulsive decisions, especially when it comes to men, when it comes to career, if I don't think things through, th through, let me not make the decision at all. Let me consult somebody who does use logic and foresight, right? That's the way I know women do things. So when women are looking at certain women, like, oh, they, they always got it together. They do what they want. Man, ask that woman who she asking. She's going to be like, man, I called my daddy and convene all my uncles together. I ain't making that decision. I done fucked that up about 35 times. 